sorry for the background noise. We got people out here cutting grass, so. Um, Chalk's painted, as you can see. Um, came out pretty good in my last video. Still wait for it to harden for a while and then uh, cut and buff. But uh, yeah, it's dirty a little bit because I've been uh, cleaning up the garage. But they I'm um, taking off the turbo hot side and I'm uh, so the passenger side is already wrapped. Uh, but I need to go, get in here and take this uh, take this turbo off and uh, wrap. I'm gonna clean up the wells and uh, wrap the uh, passenger side. Uh, this is a force force performance. Yeah, force performance. Um, 88, 92 millimeter turbo. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I'm um, freaking put uh, put the clamp, the V-band clamp down there. I put it on facing the uh, facing that way because I did it from the bottom, and then I turn around and put a put my uh, wastegate <laughs> dump hose uh, dump pipe on the freaking uh, right in the way. So I don't really want to take take off my wastegate dump. Um, so I'm just doing it like one turn at a time. Uh, also, while I was out here, I said, hell would I've had this um, this Jeep steering shaft upgraded, everybody always do. So I'm uh, in the process of taking out this uh, rag joint um, steering shaft and putting my uh, my Jeep on there. So uh, you see it doesn't have any rag joints, nothing like that. It's all, it's all, um, it's all metal, steel, whatever you want to call it. But well, this about to go in here. This is what I'm working on today. Uh, I'll bring you guys back once I get it back together. Uh, may not all be today because I got some stuff to do in a few, but I'm at least get this Jeep steering shaft in and then I'm gonna get the, uh, get the actual turbo parts hot side off and I'm gonna wrap all that. I'm trying to find the rest of my, when I move, I don't know where the rest of my my um, exhaust pipe, I mean exhaust uh, wrap is. So I'm trying to figure that out. I got it soaking. So it helps it uh, whenever you uh, whenever you're wrapping it to soak it. So that's soaking in water. Uh, but that's what I'm doing now. Um, but uh, that's just a quick update what I'm doing today. Uh, what I'm doing out here in the garage on the day off, man. So it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, spaghetti wires right now. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through. I got a cover and everything that's gonna go over it. But I'm a uh, got all new uh, wastegate and uh, blow off valve um, hose. That, I'm, that I showed in like a couple videos ago. And then I have to uh, tighten up this uh, this V fan wiring. And then I'm actually, don't like the way that that, um, <laughs> that my that my computer looks over there. So I'm actually spray it just to make it look a little bit more uniform. And I need to clean this engine bay because all these, uh, everything in here has been painted already. Not with rattle cans, it's been painted with a uh, two stage same paint that I painted the truck with, so it needs to be needs to be washed and uh, it's been it's been painted probably over a year ago now. So uh, maybe wash it and throw the clay bar on it just to get all the, the grit and everything off of it. But uh, that's what I got now. Uh, plans. Um, I've been looking at <laughs> been looking at a lot of stuff, man. I'm thinking about uh, putting some uh, putting a wheel wood um, brake kit on here because I'm working on this four nine inch over here. So I'm building this four nine inch. Uh, it's going. Can't decide on which gears I want to go with. I'm going to weld a back brace on it, and I got the new um, flanges. I got the big, uh, the big four flanges for it. I'm gonna weld that. I'm waiting on my kit. There's a brace kit, not brace kit, but it's um, like an axle alignment tool that I'm waiting to come in. So once that comes in, that's when I'll I'll uh, line up everything, and then I'll weld a back brace because you don't want to want to do it without that. That, that kit in there because it's, it uh, warps like the ends from it being heating up and it won't, uh, won't fit your, uh, your, your center your center section because the, the ends are moved. So that'll keep everything uh, solid and in line while you uh, weld as the metal heats up and heats, uh, cools off. Don't have any movement. So wait on that. Um, but yeah, I think about going with the wheelwood kit. Um, I'm thinking about these are brand new, uh, brand new. Can't see it behind there, but brand new um, single piston, just a factory uh, GM uh, um, 
rotors on the front. I got new brakes, pads, rotors, and uh, calipers. And I'm thinking about upgrading those uh, those calipers to uh, some wheel woods ones as well. So that's probably what's going to end up happening. Because uh, I plan on putting some 26s on here, uh, some forged wheels. So when it all comes together, that's what I plan. I do plan on uh, having like a set of switch too, get a little track. Um, so we'll do all that stuff, but um, but that's just the plan. I got uh, I got to finish uh, letting it harden, like I said, buff and wax it, and then uh, I'll start putting my interior together, uh, taking these seats out, uh, clearly taking everything out of here. I'm gonna um, dine them at the floor, um, put the new dash in, um, put all the panels, get out. Probably gonna repaint all the panels, uh, repaint all the panels before I put them back in, and then I uh, put my headliner in. But it's all the interior's gonna look new when I'm done with it. Um, but that's the plan. I've been working on restoring this uh, this trim. Looks alright so far. So I'm doing a decent got decent job of uh, making it uh, bringing some bring it, bring it back to life. I really don't want to <laughs> take the whole thing off and. Um, you know, replace the place the window because in order to do that, like it has, uh, you gotta take the whole window and the center section off. And I just didn't really want to do that, but if I have to, uh, the other side has uh, some some uh, primer and stuff on it that I forgot to tape off whenever I was uh, doing it. So it's um, I'm gonna have to um, knock all that primer and stuff off. But yeah, this video is already too long, so I'm just gonna cut it off here and I'll bring you guys back on a different uh, different video. All right, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's been a couple of weeks since I posted. Uh, excuse the mess, got a lot of <laughs> stuff that was on the inside of my truck and on the back of my bed that I had to take out. So I got over here in this section of the garage so I get everything back together. Um, but as you see, I uh, put the bed on my actual, uh, put it back on the truck, uh, bolted everything down and put these other rally wheels I had in the back. Um, to put them on so this is where i'm at now um going probably wait probably one day next week this is a couple days for the fourth of july i'm um uh, i'm uh, um go ahead and cut and buff it um i got some runs and everything on the passenger side but uh so far so good um what i'm working on today is i took everything out Last night, um, standard the interior or the in, inside floor down. Still has the blue that was uh, the factory color, so I'm painting everything. Um, just starting it before I, I do start this video before I do it, and then I'm gonna um, and then I'm gonna come back. Um, got my dynamat, I dynamat the whole floors, and then um, I got these um, these bucket seat brackets. Uh, from TMI, LMC, whatever you want to call it, they're for the, they, they get sold uh, as like a add-on to like your your bucket seats from uh, your TMI bucket seats uh, that I bought from LMC. So you have to actually one side lines up perfectly. So one side lines up perfectly with the factory bolts bolts here and here, and then the other one you have to drill and tap holes here and there, and then weld these brackets onto here. And then it comes with the, the seats come with their slider mounts, so you just mount these slider slider thing uh, the sliders in here, in there rather, and then you're able to slide your seats forward and backward. Um, but I'm I'm actually going to weld this one up today um, while I'm waiting on while I'm waiting on this to dry. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, my cousin came in town to help me move all this stuff around. Um, got, uh, the turbo housing back on, uh, start, started, I didn't finish, uh, got the quick disconnect, uh, um, lines on for high pressure lines for the, uh, blow off valve and, uh, and the, uh, waste gates. So I got that. Um, so other than that, man, I'm about to, I'm gonna watch, go ahead and watch the, um, I'm gonna go ahead and watch the, um, grill as well so I can get ready to put that back on and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut and buff the tailgate and I'm gonna put it back because I don't want to have to move the truck once I start cutting and buffing it so I'm gonna cut and buff the tailgate first 
and then put the tailgate on, put everything on here, and then I'm gonna, um, so I got runs and stuff in my paint. I don't know if you can see it, but gotta get all that stuff out. And then uh, for the next two weeks, I'm gonna have to find, on one of my off days, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna uh, spray in that uh, Raptor liner from, is it Raptor, Rhino, whatever. I think it's Raptor liner from uh, Speedo Coat. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that in and then get that, get that all good to go. But uh, other than that, man, it's a quick, quick uh, few minute video. And I'll bring you guys back once I get it all, all dried and then uh, got the down uh, back. All right, I'm back. Um, put up this bracket. It's not the best in the world. Can't well, but uh, solid. Doesn't look pretty, but uh, got this bracket welded in. I've got the floor painted. Um, let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And I'm probably come out here in the morning and uh, start putting my start putting my um, sound in and everything down. Oh, excuse me. Uh, going from there, been out here working literally since like eight o'clock this morning. It's uh, about to be eight o'clock at night, so that's about all I'm gonna do for the day. And then uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and bring you guys back home once I got all the kind of mat down. And then uh, I'm gonna go from there. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to see if I can possibly align the carpet over one side a little bit more, maybe maybe out an inch or so. I may be able to make it work without having to buy another carpet. That's a brand new carpet on the back there. But I think I cut one side too short, but I may be able to may be able to make it work. Would it uh maybe it'll make it over if I get it over like about another inch or about an inch short. So I'm gonna try to make that work. If not, it is what it is. About 170 bucks a month to spend it. So, um, other than that, that's all I got. Um, while, I, while I already have this out, I am going to run to have a cutout for my for my downpipe. Um, I'm going to run that through here and go ahead and get that powered up. Uh, and while I, before I put the interior back in, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the swap out the dash. So I'll be doing that sometime next week as well. So next week I'll be busy, um, but. I'll be swapping out the dash one day, and then the other day, I'll probably I'll be swapping out the dash, and then I'll be scrubbing down and uh, scuffing up the bed. I'll probably wash the truck, and uh, once I, after I scuff down the bed, and I'm gonna go from there, and then uh, after that, I'm gonna uh, get ready to throw that, throw, uh, spray that bed liner. All right, that's it. All right, YouTube, it's a different day. Um, from the last clip, I uh, got the got the um, sound editing down. Just some cheap stuff I got off um, got off uh, Amazon for like fifty bucks. So I pretty much double ha had stuff left over and still doubled up some areas. Um, wasn't no super thick or thick uh, stuff, but it does what I needed to do. So no nothing crazy. The day I've been uh, working, took out this uh, dash out of there. It's my old dash. Took off this wiring harness out of, out of this uh, replacement dash. I think it came out of like a 91, I wanna say. So I'm getting, um, getting ready to install this new dash. Well, th I thought I was, but I'm actually gonna paint it. I painted it a while ago. Painted it a while ago, but uh, it's been sitting, it got dusty. I wiped it off, but it still just don't look as good as I, I want it to look, so I'm going to uh, go get some of that trim paint. Plus, I need to paint all my trim pieces over, and um, get probably I don't know, maybe four, four of those or so, three of those. Probably get three. But everything's already black, so it shouldn't be that crazy to that crazy to color match everything. Just really want to freshen it up before I put it in. I'm gonna get that in here. Uh, that's what I'm gonna probably finish doing tomorrow. And uh, if anybody in the area you need uh like a dash pad or something like that um you can get that from me if you want it if not whatever i'll just keep it and maybe buy another obs at some point um <clears throat> that's where i'm at right now no no uh crazy updates um other than that uh, i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna once i get this interior in I'll, my real focus is trying to get this interior done right now uh take everything out Made the brackets that I showed you in the last video for the seats. 
tried to try to see if that carpet will work. It's pretty much almost new, but it has freaking holes in it from where I had to drill uh, from the old seats, so it's not going to work for me. Uh, I'm not going to have, uh, have what I'm going to have in the interior and then have holes in my damn carpet. So uh, I already ordered that uh, eBay. It's like 180 bucks. Got a new one. Uh, it's on the way, so I should be here at some point next week, I believe. And then once I get that, I'm gonna put, we're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put that in, put the carpet in, and once I put the carpet in, put the seats, and then start putting all the other trim pieces in, and uh, get everything, get the interior completely back, put back together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go while I have, while I, while I uh, have the stuff out, I am gonna go ahead and run speaker wire. Um, I have some six and a half kick kick panels, kick pods, excuse me. Uh, that I got it off a guy on Marketplace. It's like a like one of those ads. They ship it out of Texas, but it's like a they sell a bunch of them. So I'm gonna uh, put those six and a half. I'm gonna do some pro audio stuff. Probably because I already got scar speakers already in here. For, like the factory location. I already got these uh, scar audio. They're not they're not that old. They're um, good six four by sixes rather. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep everything scar. And then I have. Um, piece that goes in between the uh goes in between the seats it's gonna have pretty much six and a half in there as well plus um plus like some uh tweeters so i'm gonna just get uh two two sets of components from scar i think they're around like their pro audio components around like 180 something like that so i'm probably spend about 400 bucks or so on that i'm gonna order those and then uh order some uh some wire some not no cheap wire wire Order some good wire. Uh, while I have all this stuff here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my amp on the back seat, run wire for that, because I have a lot of zero gauge, run all that stuff up here. I may put a, a battery behind this uh, passenger seat and put the amp on this side, and put a battery on that side, or I may, I don't know, try to figure it out. I try to get a battery that'll fit in that way. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but um, I have to figure out a battery. I'm gonna probably run um, definitely gonna run that battery plus I'm gonna have another battery back there for like the sound system so uh, it's just plans what I have coming up all I have all the trim panels they're in good shape I'm gonna spray out um, spray everything down with the new stuff and then put my headliner in and get everything back together I'm gonna get it tinted the rear window is our came factory tinted from uh, get that and I want to get some uh, some more some um, a trim piece. I'm gonna see if they have, uh, I don't know, some type of trim that'll go around this because the hole was bigger than the. I can't really show it, but uh, these pieces right here has like a gap. So I'm gonna try to see if I got there's some uh, locking joints. Every, everything I found for this truck is like chrome. I don't want chrome trim on this all black truck. So I'm gonna try to, if I have to get chrome, I'll get chrome and then just scuff it and shoot it. And I'll uh, just go from there, but that's the plans right now. Um, probably that's gonna be it for this video, and then I'll bring another video with an update of uh, once once the interior is all done and I start the cut and buff process. All right, peace out.